ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Idaho Rifleman. Today we're going to test four different types of 45 ACP ammo against some level 3 soft body armor. We're going to start with a 45 ACP jacketed hollow point from the Hornady American Gunner line. We're going to test some SIG uh, Elite Performance Full Metal Jacket. The Underwood Ammo Maximum Expansion Round. That round is supposed to only expand in a fluid based medium so like the ballistic gel or tissue in a defensive situation um, it's not supposed to expand in anything else if you shoot through drywall or anything like that so we're going to test it against the body armor and we're also going to test the g9 defense external hollow point 45 acp cartridge it's supposed to be a semi barrier blind cartridge so we will test that as well let's head over to our range and uh, we'll get started Okay, everybody, we're going to start out with the Hornady American Gunner Jacketed Hollow Point, and we're going to work our way up to the more, uh, more likely to penetrate rounds. Okay, we had a nice hit. That round is right here, which means it shifted about that far. But it did stop it. Let's move up to the full metal jacket. SIG full metal jacket. Solid hit on the front. And there it is right there. So we know that one didn't go through. It's pretty warm too. I went ahead and dug out those two rounds. Here's our hollow point, our full metal jacket. You can see it deformed our full metal jacket. I actually mushroomed it a little bit. But no penetration to the other side of the body armor. Underwood ammo, maximum expansion. Okay, we stopped that round. You can actually see it right there. Feels pretty deformed. I don't know if we'll be able to get that one out, but we'll give it a try. Didn't even damage the backside of this. Okay, that was actually way easier to get out than I thought. So it grabbed onto a bunch of the Kevlar and closed in on itself. Did not open up. Also did not penetrate through the body armor. So let's try that G9 defense. Will the G9 defense external hollow point defeat the body armor? Let's find out. Here's our hit. It did not defeat the armor, but it came really close. It's in this last layer right here. I'm going to get a knife and we'll cut that out. And there it is. And that also deformed a lot. Did not make it through, but it came awful close. All right, everybody. That's going to wrap up this week's episode of Idaho Rifleman with our different 45 ACP rounds against body armor. Body armor reigns supreme today. Um, I'll be curious to do this test again with some similar 9mm rounds and see if a smaller, faster moving projectile will defeat the body armor. We came awful close with that G9 defense round, so stick around if you want to see the follow up video for that. Be sure to click like and subscribe. Uh, check out Idaho Rifleman on Facebook and Instagram as well and give the page a follow over there. You'll notice today I was trying out some different Ear Pro. Those were the Isotunes Pro, I believe they were the Slimline basic. I'll have to look at them again and I'll drop the uh, information in the description for you guys. But I was asked to uh, review them by a viewer. So we went ahead and gave them a try today. They're pretty nice. They've got uh, the volume control with up to an eight times amplification feature. 
they uh, they work great they cancel out the sound of the shot but uh, turn back on for the echo so it's kind of trippy but uh, overall they're pretty nice set of ear pro um, I like inner ear pro that uh, I can wear a hat with and aside from a ball cap that you're uh, really not gonna wear anything with uh, earmuffs and they're gonna be a little challenging for rifles but they uh, seem to be pretty decent so we'll uh, try them out a couple of more times and I'll give you guys a complete breakdown and review on them in a future video. I hope you guys all have a great day. Take care, stay safe, and God bless. We'll see you next time here on Idaho Rifleman.